Now, this is undoubtedly one of the biggest technological breakthroughs of the past decade. Aussie doctors have used 3D printing to pioneer an extraordinary surgery. Meet 27-year-old Ruben Lichter, who's making medical history. An infection had um, eaten out basically my entire tibia bone. Uh, so it was either amputation above the knee or I could try this experimental uh, procedure. It was something that had never been done before uh, and uh, Ruben came along as an ideal candidate um, to uh, embark on what is world first surgery. Last month, Ruben had a 3D printed bone scaffold implanted into his leg at Brisbane's Princess Alexandra Hospital and the 14 hour surgery was nothing short of miraculous. This is an exact model of Ruben's leg before the operation. Uh, so there's quite a lot of bone missing there, 36 centimetres in fact. And then to bridge that gap, we've used these 3D printed models which slot into the bony defect. And then to create living bone, what we've had to do is line the inside of the 3D scaffold with biological tissue. And that tissue has come from the adjacent fibular bone with its blood supply intact and then a transplant from the knee of the opposite side. Then the roof of the scaffold is put on top and then we wait for the bone to form. The scaffold was designed here at the University of Technology Queensland by Professor Dietmar Hutmacher. So it took us uh, to be used on humans a development time, a total of 10 years. Uh, so we did a number of preclinical studies where we proved the concept that these patient-specific scaffolds would really regenerate large bone defects. And he has high hopes for what his designs will do for medicine in the future. Bone tissue engineering is one program we work on, but another big program where we actually also have a lot of preclinical data is in the area of breast tissue engineering. And what we can foresee, if everything works well, we will start a clinical trial by the end of next year for 3D printed breast scaffolds which are for patients which undergo mastectomies. As for Reuben, he's looking forward to keeping up with his nine-month-old son, William. So my plans for the future, um, once, I've, once everything sort of heals and once I get my leg back, I really want to um, do a lot of activities with William. Um, I want to be able to teach him how to ride a bike and um, do all sporty things, run around with him um, and uh, just get my old life back be active and um, healthy. Amazing. Isn't it? Ah, oh, it's riveting.